Hey there, welcome to my channel. I am Alethea. In this video, I want to show you how I aged this end table using dark wax, a method that Kasha used in one of her videos on a vintage piece. I'm really excited to show you this one because I like it way more than I expected to. As I was working on it, I did not expect it to turn out at all. But I don't know, you might not like it at all. Let me know either way in the comments. As you can see, this is a really old table, probably from the 80s or 90s. I found it at a local thrift store for 10 bucks, and I thought that was a good deal. First thing I did was, after removing the tags, I did a thorough cleaning with a TSP substitute. Next, I applied the base coat. I used Waverly's ink. Kasha used a different paint in hers, but basically the same colors. My initial intention was to create texture using the paint alone, but this paint was way too thin, so I ended up having to add um, cornstarch to the paint and then stipple it on. Again, I'm just stippling here using a cheap chippy brush. I'm just creating a good texture to layer underneath the paint and the wax. Once I got the base coat on, I let it dry, and here it is dry. You can see the texture. Next, I applied the first coat of Rust-Oleum's Linen White Chalked Paint. Again, this is not the color Kasha used, but it is similar. I think she used a softer white. She also used a different brand. To create texture here, I am brushing in every direction, 
Um, we, again, we want to create a lot of texture um, to have that effect that we're going for with the once we apply the, the dark wax. Now when I painted the first coat of the linen white, what I wanted to do was leave it darker in the creases there and I accidentally painted over that so now I'm going back and applying the black ink again only this time without the texture. The texture is already there. I'm just coloring it in once more. In retrospect I probably didn't have to do that because I ended up painting over a lot of it anyway. So once that dried, I went ahead with the second coat and tried to dry brush around the creases and edges there. This is just a light dry brush that I'm doing over the edges. So very little paint on my brush and feather light with my strokes. Once the second coat dried, I used a fine grit sandpaper to distress the piece. This is my first time using transfers, also inspired by Kasha. It took me a while to figure out where I wanted everything to go. And once I did, for the longest time, I did not like where I put that centerpiece. This was surprisingly simple. It's just a matter of rubbing and occasionally the floral didn't come off the transfer paper and all you have to do is place that back down and rub again.
I think that is so beautiful. I just didn't like where I put it, but I do like it now, and you'll see what I mean at the end. So here's where I messed up big time. Uh, one of the things you want to make sure is that you have the actual transfer sticking to the table because uh, what happened here is I, I was holding it and I accidentally pulled it forward and it pulled the whole half of that hadn't been rubbed off and it left a line that I couldn't get back because it folded under and stuck to the transfer tape paper. My solution was to apply a couple of butterflies right there so you can't see the big gap. Next, it was time to apply the wax. I first applied Annie Sloan's clear wax. One of the things Kasha said was to apply the clear wax liberally before applying the dark wax. And that's true. It is very helpful to have a good amount of clear wax on underneath when you're applying the dark wax. Now, Kasha used a brown wax, but I'm using Dixie Belle's Bestang Wax in black. Here I didn't feel like I did it dark enough, so I actually came back later and applied another coat on the top. I ended up cutting the chippy brush and it made it a lot easier to use.
When you're wiping the wax, all you're doing is wiping off the excess. Keep changing the rag to a clean spot on the rag so that you're not just moving the wax around, you're actually wiping off the excess. Thank you for staying with me this far in the video. Uh, stay tuned to the end. I took some more pictures this time. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more. And if you know of anyone who might get some value from this video, please share it. I appreciate you being here with me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.